The car we're driving today is a Mini Cooper John Cooper Works convertible. This car has a 2-litre four-cylinder engine on board and that delivers 231 brake horsepower or 170 kilowatts and a maximum torque of 320 newton meters. On top we have a six-speed manual gearbox, but Mini also offers an automatic gearbox. To be really honest, when I saw the Mini for the very first time, I thought, okay, there is somebody who sells the history for loads of money and not delivering any of the real spirit of the old Mini. But to be honest, this only lasts until I drove this one for the very first time. The engine of this car is so powerful, it accelerates in only 6.6 .6 seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers or 60 miles per hour. Um, and if you drive the coupe and not the convertible, it's even quicker, it's only 6.3. The maximum speed of this tiny little car is 246 kilometers per hour. That's really quick. And I can tell you, it's an absolute pleasure driving it. It really is like a big go-kart. If you want to call a Mini Cooper John Cooper Works your own, you have to invest at least 29,900 euros here in Germany. Uh, and you're going to get the three-door coupe for it. But to be really honest, that's everything you need because that delivers all the fun and all the power that makes this car so special. Looking at the exterior of the Mini, you see the front of the car is two headlights, two big eyes, and the rest is just grill and air intakes. And this really gives you an idea of the power of that car. Coming to the side, you see these 18 inch alloy wheels and these red brakes. And what you see as well is the car looks really flat. One reason for that is the um, top of the car, so the roof line drops to the end a little bit and the shoulder line rises. And this really gives the car a very dynamic shape from the side. Coming to the rear of the car, what you're going to see there is what I call the trumpet. There are two stainless steel tubes and this is the exhaust and that exhaust makes this noise. On top of it, the rear looks really sporty and very dynamic and this is all this car delivers. You can have loads of fun, but if you really want to see what it can deliver, I think you need a racetrack. What I really like when you shift down with a manual gearbox, it gives an extra push to the gas. That's really nice. The Mini should take between 5.7 and 6.7 liters per 100 km driven. That's what Mini says. But to be really honest, we use about 9 liters. But still, I think for a car that is so powerful and provides you with so much fun, that's absolutely okay. So pff, I don't care because it's an absolute pleasure driving it. The interior of the Mini is very sporty, very modern, really fresh. We have loads of round elements here. Um, this is with the ref meter, with the um, speed meter, with the central uh, display here. Everything is round, so it, it's really something special and something I really like. Very interesting here is the seats are absolutely great. You have loads of support, even at the rear. You have two single seats and they really provide you with the support you need if you want to drive that car the way you should. Of course, this car offers all the driver safety and assistance systems you want and all the modern features you can ask for. We have a great sat nav, we have really a very nice sound system on board, and of course, we have adaptive cruise control and all the stuff you need in a modern car today. When you start driving the Mini Cooper, you really have to get used to it because the steering is so direct and the car is so stiff and so close to the road. This is really a different kind of driving, but great fun. If you want to buy a Mini Cooper, you have to try this little beast here because that's 100% the idea of Mini on the road. It feels like you glued the tires to the track and it's so powerful and provides you with so much fun and that's really what makes a Mini. 
Overall, I really have to say I absolutely adore this little Mini. It's so funny driving, it's so powerful, and I think it's absolutely worth every little penny.